this. This is the bike rack that's the squiggly line that you see outside of every public building in America. And that was originally a sculpture created by a guy. I can't remember the name of the guy. Maybe you know who it is. But, but it wasn't exactly that serpentine shape. It was a little bit different. And, uh, but it was a sculpture. And s s s I think a friend came over and said, hey, that might be, you know, if you modified this, it could be a bike rack. Well, the thing is, copyright law does not protect useful objects. If you have a tea kettle that's in a really cool shape, uh, but it's a tea kettle. Copyright is about, is about artistic work. It's not about functional stuff. That's the, the area of patents. And so copyright law tries to draw this line between um, you know, original works of authorship is copyright stuff. Useful articles is not copyright stuff. But again, we have a gray area and a lot of stuff falls in the middle. And so the issue in that case is, is this a useful article and hence not a copyright? Or is it, does it have a copyright? And there are some kinds of things without getting too technical on you. Uh, that can make useful articles still have a copyright. That's the issue in that case. Yeah. What about the case of the, the photograph of Obama that was in Trans If we can hold the rest of the questions until towards the end, just so we can get through everything, because we haven't even got to the Prince case yet. That is a huge one, though. And yeah. we're going to yeah. yeah. be happy to start. Very happy to start. That's a great case. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 <coughs> um, yeah, we just want to keep so we get through, we actually get to the next case, which is the Kerry v. Prince case. So with this general background, you know, we already have a lot of questions about it. We could spend three hours on this subject. Um, and so this helps paint and set up this Kerry v. Prince case, and we're going to sort of focus the conversation through this case, because a lot of things have happened in this case. It's a great way to understand all of these issues, and we can bring up other cases as well, um, like the, the Obama Hope case, which was a great fair use case, but then he screwed it up by lying. So that's not the best case to talk about this. Um, so um, you may initially. Not Obama. Not Obama. Shepard uh, Ferry. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to disparage our president. <laughs> um, <laughs> so after you look at these Prince images that I'm going to show you, you may think one thing about Prince. And at the end of the conversation, you may think another. But at least you'll be able to analyze. Even if you don't, you'll be able to analyze this better. Um, so I'm going to just do a brief introduction about the case. So Prince took images from uh, Patrick Carew, who is a photographer, depicting Rastafarians from Carew's book, Yes, Rasta. And Prince used them in uh, a series called The Canal Zone, which was shown at the Gagosian Gallery in New York City in 2008. So, 